fully assured that a continuous periodic signal can always be represented as a sum of sines and cosines. Look at this periodic wave with a frequency say 1000 Hz. Let us then decompose it into number of sinusoids. First harmonic at 1000 Hz is called the fundamental frequency. A second harmonic of 2000 Hz, a third harmonic of 3000 Hz and so forth. Remember, these harmonics are integer multiplies of fundamental frequency. Now let us add these sinusoids. Continue the addition of decomposed signals. Now, what do you observe? At this point, it seems that this process is resulting into a signal that is closer and closer to the original signal. Fourier series representation of a signal is well understood by these two examples. These are the pulse train and a zigzag signal approximated by Fourier series. As observed, larger the number of harmonics, more accurate is the approximation of the signal. This decomposition can be mathematically expressed as shown. The constant term A0 corresponds to the DC value of the signal and the coefficients An and Bn tell us the amplitudes of sine and cosine terms. The sum of these sines and cosine terms is called the Fourier series. These are the expressions of the Fourier series coefficients expressed in terms of period of the wave. Using these equations, let's compute the Fourier coefficients of the pulse strain. T indicates the period of the signal. The A0 coefficient is obtained by integrating over the period of the signal. The limits are modified to minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 as the signal exists in this range and evaluating we get the DC value of the signal. Similarly, we compute the An and the Bn coefficients. Let us plot these Fourier coefficients. Plotting the magnitude of these coefficients gives us some useful information about the frequency spectrum of the signal. For this, we need to define a new coefficient Cn. Substituting the values of An and Bn, the plot is as shown below. This frequency spectrum tells us how much energy the signal has at any particular harmonic.